much, Ben, for uh, speaking to Tommy van der Stroys, who took two finals in a row ahead of Len Nijs. But now we've got the second Minimax final here at Karting Genk for the 2019 BNL Karting Series kickoff. So, your lineup is as follows. Tim Gerhardt, who won the first final, will start on pole position alongside countryman Jaden Thien in the 107. Nick Gerhardt starts in the 60 on third position ahead of Nathan Schapp uh, in the 103. Jens van der Heiden and Javi bach Maftiuk round out the top six. Ahead of Simon Birch Christensen, Jasper Lehnertz, Max Knappen, Lakeron Sorensen, Matthias von Goethe, Roman Sakowski and uh, Kajus Rutsevicius. So 13 competitors to take part in the last Minimax final of the day. Red lights on the starting gantry, 13 minutes plus an additional lap. We find out is Tim Gerhards going to repeat what Tommy van der Stoys has just done, winning two finals in a row. We've got 14 minutes of action to find out if that's going to be the case. So very, very tidy, very tidy formation indeed. Coming round turns 11 and 12 here at Karting Genk. 1,360 metres of prime asphalt here in the Limburg region. Do we go green? Yes, we do. And they head down into turn one. We're getting nearly three abreast coming into turn one. That is brave even from these youngsters. So Tim Gerhards, Gerhards will want to get the uh, opportunity of getting in front of everybody and staying there as there's some good moves. I think uh, likes of uh, Nathan Schrapp and uh, Nick Gerhards uh, having a bit of a battle. And it's three wide. Someone's been forced to the outside of turn six and has dropped back into fourth position. So that's really a case of finding out who that will be as uh, we go to complete lap number one very, very soon. So they're coming through turn eight, pulling at least one and a half Gs. Some of the uh, faster competitors, such as juniors and seniors, will be pulling at least 2.2 Gs coming through turn eight. As demonstrated by Savoy Baldessar for the Dames Racing Team in a recent test here at Karting Genk. They had the telemetry and also the track Mac as well. It is Tim Gerhards that is leading. And uh, Nathan Schapp, uh, I think, is in second position now. So that's really good work for the 103. And, uh, yep. Jaden Thien now in third position. Nick Gerhards in fourth. Javi Bachmach now up into fifth place ahead of uh, Max Knappen. Uh, Jens van der Heiden uh, now down into seventh place. Jasper Lenitz still in eighth at the moment. Uh, Sokovsky. That's Roman Sokovsky um, in the 171 now up into ninth. And then uh, we've also got uh, Matthias van Goethe uh, rounding out the top ten at the minute. As some good moves again. Turn seven seems to be a prime overtaking spot here at Karting Genk today, uh, with the air temperature at 15 degrees Celsius. And as I said, the action is only going to heat up when we go to juniors next, and then the seniors. So there's two midpoint finals in the second stage of the uh, the second and final stage of the kickoff. But great to see that Tim Gerhards is now moving away from the rest of the field. He's up seven tenths on the rest, and it looks like. Oh, it could be a Gerhards 1-2 very shortly if it comes through turn two. I think it's just happened. So let's just see what's happening here. So, uh, yep. It's uh, Nathan Sharp that's uh, trying to get it past um, Thien, who's now taken second place, I believe. <laughs> but here comes Nick Gerhards and just that goes, oh, hang on, inside line is mine. <laughs> But he's still trying to force the issue going into turn seven. Not quite working out just yet for the number 60. Uh, oh, spinner at turn seven. 180 degrees the wrong way. I'm wondering if that's going to be uh, someone like Simon Birch Christensen, who probably might have just outbraked, but the driver has got back out on the circuit. Nick Gerhards continues to lead. Uh, Tim Gerhards, uh, my apologies there, continues to lead. The gap was nearly three quarters of a second. It's now just over seven and a half tenths. So uh, Jaden Thien now up into second position. Nathan Sharp in third. Nick Gerhards trying to force, force his way past, so to speak, as there's uh, some overtakes trying to happen a little bit further back. Looks like Max Knappen was trying to go up the inside of... Um, Simon Birch Christensen there for eighth position, but Max Knappen couldn't get past at that particular moment. Meanwhile, top four now coming through into turn seven, round the right-hander at turn eight. Nice flowing momentum-carrying corner there. 
But at the moment, Tim Gerhards has got uh, 9 minutes 15 seconds plus an additional lap to go in this final. Uh, so anything, and it normally qu can sometimes happen, it normally does, we find out that things do change. As uh, Javi Bachmachtiuk is still fighting uh, tooth and nail with Jens van der Heyden uh, in the uh, 151. That's for fifth place at the minute. But at the moment, it looks like that uh, Tim Gerhards and uh, Jaden Thien, uh, who were our front row that, uh, just uh, around five minutes ago when we started uh, this second of two finals here at the BNL Karting Series kickoff, they're pulling away from the pairing of uh, Nathan Shupp and Nick Gerhards. And it uh, looks like Nick's now got up into third position, so he's got past Nathan uh, just a moment ago. So a nice change there. But now it's uh, whether Nick is actually going to start closing up on the two in front. The gap between second and third last time around was over seven tenths of a second. Make that three quarters of a second, actually. As the two leaders cross the start finish line, Gerhard's ahead of Thien. The gap, whoa, that was, that was severely truncated on that particular moment because Jaden Thien is thinking, oh, He's not that far away from me now. I've got a chance. Well, you've still got seven and three quarter minutes plus an additional lap, Jaden, to uh, think about not if, it's when you're going to try and overtake Tim Gerhards. And I'm sure that Tim will be thinking, I'm not, it, I'm not letting him get past in any way, shape or form. And if they keep battling at the, uh, the front for first and second, then the two behind, the pairing of uh, Nick Gerhards and... Uh, Nathan Sharp will uh, have an opportunity to close back in as there's a nice little try there as uh, Bachmatiuk tries to go past uh, Van der Eyden uh, coming uh, through turn nine, but Van der Eyden just went, oh, door shut, sorry, you can't come in, your name's not on the list. But Bachmatiuk goes, well, hang on, the door's just open for me at turn number 11, and he steals it away uh, from the 151 and takes fifth position. Nice little move there from... Uh, Javi Bachmachtiuk, as there's more changes. Well, the change has happened again. So third position has rotated this time to Nathan Sharp ahead of Nick Gerhards this time. But when is the lead going to change? Oh, I think I've just seen it happen. Yes, has Jaden Thien overtaken Nick Gerhard, uh, Tim Gerhards? I think that is the case. As they've just gone through turn seven, has the move stuck? I think it has. I really do think that was the lead change. And that was with six and a half minutes to go. And it's changed again, so Tim Gerhards and uh, Jaden Thien are side by side. Oh my goodness, heading down into turn 10. Thien takes the inside line, takes the advantage, takes the lead. Oh, Gerhards throws it up the inside, mounts the curves with the two wheels. And look at this, Nathan Sharp and Nick Gerhards. This was, was going to be a case of the two battling in the front. I said it was going to happen, and it just has. Because Nathan Sharp is now within two tenths of the leader's and Thien sends it up the inside. Here comes Sharp trying to get past Tim Gerhards for second position. Can't make it through quite yet. They go through turn four. The four at the front. Line astern in turn five. Now into the right-hander. Hairpin at turn six. And Nick Gerhard, uh, Tim Gerhards goes back up the inside. Jaden Thien responds immediately. Punches down the throttle and goes, right, that's it, that's mine. Tim Gerhards goes, oh no, you don't, sunshine. Through turn seven, into turn eight. This is going to be... Absolutely brilliant for the next five minutes, 20 seconds, plus an additional lap. So the top four, literally, you cannot put sheets of A4 paper between them at the minute. But I have to say that Tim Gerhards is doing a really good job. He's doing exactly what Tommy van der Stroys was doing in the Minimax finals. And he's taking a leaf out of the Young Dutchman's book as well. So his fellow countryman, is, I think, has given him a little bit of an advantage. But... There's still plenty of time left to go. Best lap of the race so far. Jaden Thien on lap 5. 59.867. And as I say that, he goes up the inside. Well, that was uh, Tim Gerhards actually going up the inside into turn 2. Retaking the lead from Jaden Thien, who seems to have the run, have the legs down the straights. But when it comes to the corner, Tim Gerhards just has it on point, And Thien goes up the inside. Oh, clash! Oh, that's disaster! Disaster for Tim Gerhards. Absolutely unsighted there. Had nowhere to go. All of a sudden, someone went, oh, no, not now. And it was a clash. It was only going to happen. 
So that's real disaster. That has really put a scupper on Tim Gerhards, which gives Jaden Thien the real advantage here now. So that's really changed the uh, dynamic of what happened. I'm just wondering if that was uh, Nathan Schrupp that went up the inside and clattered, well, clattered into the right, uh, the left-hand side pod of Tim Gerhards. So our one of our main competitors for the uh, kickoff top honours eliminated by just uh, what it was effectively a, a I think a racing incident to be fair um, it just quickly happened and uh, oh that was Javi Bachmatuk unfortunately I think that uh, caused the uh, calamity there so he was closing and then all of a sudden uh, Tim got unsighted and it was a case of oh no it's happened so that's a real shame, but this means that we have uh, Jaden Thien and uh, Nick Gerhards in the number 60 as our top two leaders. Nathan Schrupp and uh, Danny van der, uh, Jens van der Eyden uh, rounding out the top four and is 1.4 seconds adrift of the 103 at the moment. So a disaster there with about four minutes plus an additional lap for Tim Gerhards in the final throws of this race. And the gap between um, Jaden Thien and uh, Nick Gerhards now is just over three and a half tenths of a second. But you know what? I've just noticed something here. Tim Gerhards is still circulating. And, oh, we've got a mechanical. That is for Tim Gerhards. He is now out of contention. Tim, so another new feature for us here is an unfortunate one where we have to show the mechanical black flag to Tim Gerhards as a result of that collision at turn six just a couple of laps ago. So number 50 for the Netherlands unfortunately now is eliminated for the running and Jaden Thien now is in prime position I think for getting the second of six entry tickets here. Of course with regards to the overall classification the results are provisional until uh, we find out at our podium celebrations. So I'm not going to call who's going to win the uh, free entry to the BNL Karting Series season for 2019. We'll find out a little bit later on. Obviously, I hope that Ben van der Stucken finds a little bit of information uh, when he does his pit lane interviews. Good to have him back here with us on BNL Karting Series and, of course, the live stream. So Jaden Thien has now got a gap between himself and Nick Gerhards in the number 60 to the tune of around half a second. And Nathan Sharp in... Uh, is in third with uh, Jens van der Heyden up from fifth to fourth place. Simon Birch Christensen in the meantime has been making some moves of his own and he's up into fifth is the Dane in the 153 who's just coming into shot right behind them is Jasper Lainus who started in eighth position now up into sixth so it could be a nice little battle here I feel for fourth position as uh, Lainus gets a little bit feisty going through turn 10 there so, less than a minute to go, plus an additional lap here. So, it'll be this plus one additional lap for the Micro Max. No, sorry, the Mini Max. Already had Micros. Alex, you're going back in time again. Stop it. Leave your DeLorean in the garage. <laughs> 40 seconds to go, plus an additional lap here. And uh, Jaden Thien, I think, is in prime position to take home the second ticket but this is obviously as i say any results as per the races as they happen uh, will be provisional subject to official ratification by race control scrutineering and of course the clerk of course and the marshalling team so we are fast approaching the end of the penultimate lap as oh nice little move there by jesper lainertz on um on Simon Birch Christensen who responds and takes the position back coming out of turn number nine. They go through turn 10. Meanwhile, Jaden Thien still sitting strong at the front and is looking to extend that gap over Nick Gerhards in the number 60. So last lap it is for Jaden Thien in the 107. Nick Gerhards in second. Nathan Schupp in fourth. Jens van der Eyden in, uh, sorry, Nathan Schupp in third place. Jens van der Eyden in fourth. Simon Birch Christensen in fifth, Jasper Lainertz in sixth place, Max Klappen in seventh, Javi Bach Machtiuk in eighth. And as I say that, unfortunately, um, Tim Gerhards is now in the pits and that's it. His weekend is done, unfortunately. 
So leaders now coming through turn nine for the final time for Mini Max action here at the BNL Karting Series kickoff at Karting Genk, home of champions. And just a handful of corners to go. Round turns 11 and 12. Comes the 107 of Jaden Thien. And I think if everything's all said and done, he know. I think he knows it. He punches the air with one fist. He says, look, guys, I'm off to Le Mans. See ya. Well done to Jaden Thien. Great job. Yellow flags uh, being exercised circuit wide. But Jaden Thien, I think, is the second recipient of six tickets well one of six tickets first one i think provisionally goes to tommy van der Stoys, uh, from the Netherl netherlands and then now it is Jaden thien that takes home his own one so two dutch drivers i think already have taken a third of the six tickets already and we're only in final number two of six so the second phase of the finals. What a great drive by Jaden Thien. Commiserations, absolutely, for a disconsolate. And I think frustrated Tim Gerhards after that nasty clash. And he parked it with two laps to go. But it was Jaden Thien, Nick Gerhards, Nathan Schupp, Simon Birch Christensen, and Jens van der Eyden finishing and rounding out the top five. Jesper Leinitz in six, Max Knappen, Javi Bachmachtuk, Lakeron Sorensen, Roman Sokowski, Matthias van Gertham, and last but not by no means least on the classified finishers, it's uh, Kajus Rutsevicius with Tim Gerhards not finishing the race.